everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and the next video I have for you is a quick 5 minute booty workout. You don't need any equipment, so let's get started. So I haven't included a warm up, we're going to be doing 5 exercises, 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. A warm up is a good idea, so check out my channel, subscribe so you get all of the videos. Uh, or put on some music, dance around, and get yourself a little warmed up. We are starting with reverse lunges. So I'm just going to step alternating one foot behind and then the other. And try to go low down. I'm actually letting my knee tap on the ground. So because I know people are very short on time, I haven't included warm-ups in this whole quick five minute series. But I do have warm-ups on my channel, so you can go ahead and check there. Or as I said earlier, just put on some music, dance around, do a few jumping jacks, something to get your body a little limber and you're breathing up a bit, you know, so your body feels warm. That's what's called a warm-up. Excellent. So next up, we're going to do a wide leg squat. Again, we're focusing really on our behinds, our glutes, booty, whatever you want to call it. Um, everybody likes a nice shaped rear. So we're going to have wide legs and we're just going to squat and then come back up. So turn your toes out slightly and then you're starting by pushing your bum back. So I'll show you from the side. And because we do a wide leg squat, it works a little bit more inner thigh rather than the quad. And it really gives you an opportunity to clench those glute muscles, clench your butt cheeks together. And you can sometimes work them harder than just with a regular squat, although regular squats are excellent as well. Great job. So next up we're going to do an alternating side lunge. So sometimes we forget that the glute is made up of three different muscles and we need to work all of them to get a nice shape. So we're just going to lean out to one side and then come back up and then go to the other side. We're going to try and get nice and low. We do not need to go fast, but we do need to have good alignment and good posture in the upper body. So again, with there being three separate parts to the glute muscles, if we don't do any side to side lateral movement, we can't get all the way around those glute muscles very well. So always be sure to include something that goes side to side as well as forward and back and up and down. I'm going to work in all the planes of motion. Excellent. Now we're going to get down on all fours and we're going to do an alternating bent leg raise. So it sounds complicated. It's not. I'm sure you've done it before. So on our hands and knees, we're just going to take one leg and raise it up, put it down, and then the other leg. Now I know a lot of people really like to work uh, their behinds, their booty. So if you want, let me know and I can make a longer uh, workout. You can also take this video and instead of alternating everything, do it one time through on just the left side of the body for all these alternating moves and then do it again and do all the moves just on the right side of the body and then you'll get double the amount of work per side. Excellent. And guess what? We only have one move left and we're going to do a bridge. So there's a few different variations you can do here. You can either do both legs on the ground and just squeeze and lift up. Or you can try alternating your legs. So do one leg, come down and switch it, and then push up with the other leg. This just focuses on one side a bit more. It's more weight to be lifting. And again, you need to go slow. If you go super fast, you're not going to feel much because it's all momentum. 
So you can just rest your hands down. I don't know why mine were up in the air there. They just were. <laughs> Keep your core in. And again, you can always go back to that two-legged one. Excellent job, everybody. You should feel really proud of yourself for squeezing in that booty workout. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Hope to see you soon.